No, no, I wouldn't want to convert a Camry. You know, there's no point. It's got to be a cool car. Uh, my name is Jeff Hoffman. I'm from Hoffman Manufacturing Corp. It's my company. And uh, kind of on the side, almost a bit of a hobby, we use our what our company can do to uh, convert cars to electric. Uh, we're a manufacturer, so we have a full metal shop and powder coat and house and routers and guys building stuff. My wife and I bought a Tesla quite a few years ago and uh, just kind of got hooked. I bought this car about three years ago at an auction and uh, decided, well, this it really was not a good car. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, the engine is terrible, it was slow, and everything like that, so well, I thought, well, I can convert it to electric. I didn't have any idea what I was doing when I started, and so I just kind of did a lot of research on the internet, um, and then it uh, failed a lot. Did everything about three times, uh, did it incorrectly, and then, you know, over and over. It's here now, and it works great. It, yeah, yeah, it is a uh, Tesla drive unit. It probably came out of a salvage Tesla. Um, you can find them pretty easily on eBay right now. Um, not, not very expensive either. The original engine was a gas uh, six-cylinder engine. It was kind of anemic. It was really slow, especially with the automatic transmission. So we took all that stuff out. Um, the Tesla, originally I was going to actually put a large Tesla drive unit in it, which has got a lot more power, and it actually doesn't fit. The chassis is designed by Lotus. It's kind of a like a double Y frame. And so there's not a lot of space uh, back there because the Tesla drive unit's got the, the gearbox, which is single speed, but there's still gears in it, and the inverter all in one package. You know, you've got the half shafts going to the wheels, so that's got to be positioned very specifically. And the small Tesla drive unit, which is in here, is the only one that's going to fit. In fact, I mean, there's like, it barely fits. It's really close. But the batteries are not Tesla batteries. Yeah, they're, they're calves. Uh, this system's uh, just under 400 volts, and it's a 25 kilowatt hour pack in there. So that'll give us about 70 miles of range. Um, yeah, this one you have uh, people ask you about flux capacitor stuff, and you just it's it gets old. So <laughs> I guess the, the best part about the car itself is really maybe the way it looks and the way it sounds now. The drive unit's not uh, buried in the car as much as like a Model 3. And so you can really hear, when you're driving, you can really hear the whine, and it's, it sounds really sweet. It's like the original Tesla Roadster. It is really a very original DeLorean. We did some refurbishing to it. I'm gonna open up the hood, because actually the way you would fuel up the DeLorean originally was right there. So you had to go open the hood to uh, put gas in it. So now you've got your... No, so yep, that's right your here. your J1772. How, uh, what's the speed of the charger you have built in the car? Uh, this is a 6.6 uh, kilowatt charger. Okay, nice. So it's pretty good. Yep, so it charges up uh, reasonably well, but you do have to have the hood open. Uh, we changed the interior a little bit. Uh, instead of the automatic shifter, it just has a little uh, dial for forward reverse and neutral. Uh, on the dash, on the right side is a little bit modified that uh, where it says SOC, that's state of charge percentage. And that used to be the fuel gauge. And it actually still is a fuel gauge. We just have a uh, sender that talks to the battery management system and uh, gives you that uh, state of charge. Everybody wants to check this out. So, yep, there's a Tesla drive unit, and it's a small drive unit. And you can see that the gray here, that's the frame. And you can see it barely fits in there. Like it's made for it. Yeah. And this is a DC DC converter. What that does is it takes the 400 volts DC down to 12 volts DC for the operating systems. And then a the charger right here yep. as well. Yep, that's a charger. And I'm assuming this is kind of a combiner box, all the miscellaneous, everything goes Yep, in inside of there is actually the battery management system. Okay. And uh, a bunch of junctions and relays and... Batteries are that? That's, uh, that is. Uh, that's the, there's one large battery box 
and then there's two more uh, in the front where the fuel tank used to be. And with your manufacturing business, yeah, you guys fabricate all that stuff. Brand new, yes. Brand new for this. Yeah, it's really uh, it's really handy having a uh, laser and brake and uh, fabrication shop. We actually bought a few things for this project too like a, a 3D scanner actually. And that really comes in handy because you can scan the frame. You know, with, imagine all the stuff not in there. You can scan the frame and bring it into your engineering software and then make all your mounts. Nice. Yeah. And uh, one of the things we did during COVID was uh, bought a 3D printer, you know, because you're not going out and partying, you're doing stuff like that. So we printed some of these parts too. Yeah, so the cover for nice the fuse. High visibility, high yeah. voltage orange. Yep. Nice. And originally, if you can imagine, the engine kind of came up to here, right? It took up this whole entire space. Yeah. And it had all of, you know wires and big, it was kind of a big mess, really, and greasy and oily. And now everything is compact and it's down at this level here. So that that panel is actually uh, it's on the floor there as a tray that sits down and so you now have what no DeLorean owner ever had before, a trunk. So kind of a false floor and you get that much extra cargo yeah. space. Oh yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so you get a trunk and a frunk. Yes. Yep. Yep. If somebody wants to know more about these vehicles, uh, check out the website. It's hoffmanmc.com, H-O-F-F-M-A-N-M-C.com.